In this section, we're going to be interested in solving um, inequalities that involve rational functions. So a very kind of like baseline example would be something like this. 1 over x plus 1 is less than 3. Now, there are really two ways to go about this. You, you can employ a wholly algebraic method to do this. Um, or alternatively, you can use a diagram approach, which, um, or a sketch approach, which personally, if I was doing this, I would try and sketch 1 over x plus 1 and sketch y equals 3 and find where they intersected and then base my solution off that. So I'm going to do that way first and then I'm going to explain the wholly algebraic method which you can employ um, and show you how that works. So, um, first of all, we're going to sketch y equals 1 over x plus 1. Now, um, with the ones that I was doing in the previous section with uh, cubix cortex, I don't worry about drawing in a y-axis because it doesn't have any bearing on, um, on my graph. But with these, I will. I'll, I'll try and make sure that I'm drawing a relatively accurate sketch. So 1 over x plus 1 will have a vertical asymptote at x equals minus 1. OK. Um, and it will be crossing through the y-axis when x is 0, which is 1 over 1. OK. So it's going to look something like this. OK, so this is the graph of y equals 1 over x plus 1. Now, I know it looks like that because 1 over x is similar to this graph, but it, this has been translated one step to the left because the x was replaced with x plus 1. Now, you can see it that way instead if you prefer. OK? If you're unsure about which kind of like direction it's coming down, you could always try a value and see if it's above or below the x-axis there. OK, we're going to go through more examples where that might be needed. So once we've got our sketch, I'm also going to draw the line y equals 3. So here's y equals 3. And you can see there is this single point of intersection. Now I am interested in working out what that value is. So what I do is I put 1 over x plus 1 equal to 3 and aim to solve that equation. So I multiply out by the x plus 1, take 3 from both sides, and so x is minus 2 thirds. So I know that this point is minus 2 thirds. Now, what is the question asking me? Where is this graph below 3? So where is it below 3? Well, it's below 3 um, here, OK, so for this portion of the graph, where x is greater than minus 2 thirds. Or, well, I did that region first, but maybe I shouldn't have done that region first. Let's, let's just put that to one side. So x is greater than minus 2 thirds. But on the left-hand side, you've got this portion of the graph as well. So that's when x is less than minus 1. Now, it's only this bit up here uh, between the minus 1 and the minus 2 thirds where the graph is above y equals 3. So anything but that, really. So x is less than minus 1, or x is greater than minus 2 thirds. And this solves my inequality. OK, now that method is based on strong sketching skills and then solving a basic equation quite often uh, and then in, um, interpreting the inequality correctly. So how can we do this algebraically? Well, the thing is, you can't just multiply both sides by x plus 1. Now, there are... The first, first reason is that if you did that, so let's say we multiply both sides by x plus 1, we will get 3x plus 3. Take the 3 from both sides, divide through by 3. 
So x is greater than minus 2 thirds. And yeah, that's given us one of the regions, but it hasn't given us the second region. And so this algebraically does not work for us. Okay, You can't do that. Now, why is that the case? The reason why is because you're multiplying by something that could be negative. The x plus 1 could be positive or it could be negative. If it's negative, you're multiplying both sides of an inequality by a negative value, in which case the inequality symbol will flip around. Okay, And so that is where the problem lies. So how do you deal with that? Well, you deal with that by multiplying both sides of your inequality by something that is positive. Okay? If you multiply both sides by something that's positive, the inequality uh, direction will remain. So I'm going to multiply both sides by the denominator squared. So if I multiply both sides by x plus 1 squared, that won't change the direction of the inequality symbol because x plus 1 squared is positive. So multiplying the left-hand side by x plus 1 squared will just leave me with x plus 1. And multiplying 3 by x plus 1 squared gets me this. OK. So then I need to expand this out. So I'm going to get three lots of x squared plus 2x plus 1. So 3x squared plus 6x plus 3. Right, then I'm going to have to move everything onto one side. So I'm going to move everything onto the right-hand side. So we've got 3x squared uh, plus 5x plus 2. OK, so let's use my quadratic solver. So 3, 5 and 2. And we have a, a parabola. It's going through minus 2 thirds and minus 1. So minus 1 and minus 2 thirds. And it's asking, where is the parabola above the x-axis? Because remember, this is the same thing as writing that down. OK? So where is that above the x-axis? Well, it's above it there and there. So when x is less than minus 1 or x is greater than minus 2 thirds. OK, so you can see that we've got to the same answer as we did previously using this method. Now, the only the problem that you have with this method is that you can end up um, with kind of quite nasty kind of algebra to have to expand out and deal with, um, whereas um, the sketching technique is going to also um, help you with your sketching skills. Okay, It's going to develop your sketching skills as well as being able to solve the inequalities. I mean, essentially, it's going to be up to you. My personal preference is this way. Um, and that's the way that I'm going to be showing when I go through examples, because I think that really does, being able to sketch graphs is such an incredibly important skill that, you know, this just feels like a trick that uh, gets, gets you to the correct answer, but you're not really understanding um, the underlying problem that we're dealing with.